I was in a grocery store, and somebody from the other side was not happy that I was there and asked me to leave. <laughs> I said, I have to eat too. And then I thought, America? This is America? And then, not too long ago, I was at a coffee shop. I wanted to talk to the owner. And the owner says, we can't talk in here. Because <laughs> some people from the other side buy coffee, too. And I say again, this is America. And then you've seen the Wall Street people. They're out here. I know my friend here, John, he won't care if I pick on him, right, John? John, my friend John, Dan, everybody's friend, has his own business. So he's wealthy, right? John? Because he has his own business. But the Wall Street people would think that, yeah. you know, you've got a dollar more than I do. I, I should, you know, have some of that. Well, I would say, if you think I have a dollar more than you, then you ought to get a second job. <laughs> or maybe you ought to get a first job. in North Dakota? My gosh, it's Boom Town. It's Boom City, North Dakota. Yeah. There's a sign, if you go into McDonald's out there, that they apologize. This is what I heard. I wasn't there. They apologize for the slow service. And they're paying $15 an hour, but they can't get people to work. Okay, Wall Streeters, there you go. Opportunity. <laughs> So we look at Washington, and who's, who's, who's going to stand up? Mark Newman will stand up. Ray Bowman will stand up. How do you like our Congressman Paul Ryan? He'll stand up. Yeah. Ron Johnson will stand up. Ron Duffy will stand up. We need more that have backbone. We the people will stand up. We the people will stand up. Yes. We must stand up. We must stand up. So if we don't have enough people in Washington to do the right thing, then we have to look at Governor Christie and Governor Daniels and Governor Casey and our own Governor Walker to show the way. So, I want you to answer these questions. Did we balance the budget without raising taxes? Did we finally pay an overdue bill to the state of Minnesota? Let's go. Yes! Did we pay the injured patient's compensation fund back to one million? That means it's stolen. Yes. Yes. And as the governor said, are we not creating a pro-business, pro-job climate here in the state of Wisconsin? Yes. Now, some people would want to go in another direction. We can't have that happen. And we can't rely on Terry Moulton and Governor Walker and Lieutenant Governor Clay Fitch to do this by themselves. Now, I know I'm singing to the choir, <laughs> but the choir has to get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. We need more members. And that's where you can. So I will close with this. I believe it was 1980. When Governor Reagan, I think was Kennedy at the time, speaking about the financial mess from the uh, <laughs> Carter administration, he said, this is the questions he asked. If we don't address it now, when? And if we don't, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Is that right? So, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, it is us. We must do it, and we must do it now. And, and I know that you can. I'm going to close with one quick story, but there's Senator Coleman. <laughs> that you may have heard again me tell, maybe not, about Governor Walker. 
Some of you may know that I have my own business. It's a retail business. We sell baseball tickets. <laughs> Come on down. But it was a day in February after this thing all broke that the baseball team was brought into this whole thing. And I was concerned. And I was due to be in Madison at like 10 o'clock that morning. And I said, I called my, my leader, Scott Fitzgerald, and I said, I'm going to be a little late. I have to have a family meeting. And we did. At 7.30 in the morning, I, I, all my kids are grown and married, but they all live right around me. We had a meeting. And I had to tell them what I had to do. And they knew there were going to be ramifications. And there were a lot of tears. But I knew what I had to do. And so, as I'm driving then, after the meeting with my family, who supported me 100%. As I'm driving to Madison, I get a call from the governor's office. He says, uh, she says, uh, Senator Pankey, the governor would like to meet you when you get here. I said, oh darn. <laughs> I thought maybe my leader had told the governor that, you know, Uncle Pankey, blah, 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 is having some issues with his business and this vote and all this stuff. So that wasn't the case. So I get there, he's all alone in his, in his, his office. We do a bear hug. I told him I'm with you, Governor, 100%, all the way, no questions asked. And then we proceeded to sit down, have coffee, and had the vote. The Governor and me. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? This year, the Governor, we need to keep in office, and it's up to us. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you for having me.